All right, and uh, the October 13th, 9.14 p.m., 2022, um, bi-weekly Massachusetts Pirate uh, member meeting starts. So hopefully this recording will go well. Hopefully the audio is good and everything is peachy keen. So um, we have an, well, let's do introductions. Um, I'm James O'Keefe, Captain, resident of Somerville. I'm uh, Steve Revelak. I am, um, I live in Arlington, Massachusetts, and I am the, uh, the vice chair of the Massachusetts Pirate Party. Joe? And my name is Joseph Onorowski. I am the treasurer, uh, state rep, and um, whatever else this party needs of me. And you live in? I apologize. Perfect. I live in Bowl Mass. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So um, there's. Do, do we need to review the conference? No, I, I think um, in terms of the conference, I thought it was a, a nice event, and I am looking forward to our next one in January. Yeah, and honestly, I, I really enjoyed like all the interactions, and it it felt a lot more natural than, uh, at least, it felt more natural to me than previous conferences. Yeah, I, I liked it a lot as well. Uh, the only limitation I see is we never saw anyone's face because basically the slides or presentations were up. So hopefully this will show that we fixed that problem. Otherwise, we'll have to find a new solution. Um, so in terms of decisions endorsements, um, we... There are four ballot questions, and so do we want to have positions on them, and how do we want to make the decisions for that? Um, we could make it in this meeting. We could uh, put it out to put up a, a poll and put it out to members. Um, uh, you know what? Putting it out to uh, our members and asking what all of our pirates think about this would be a great idea. The only problem is um, we, so the 20th is an informal meeting that will be at the United States Pirate Party Discord in the Massachusetts channel. Uh, and then the 27th will be our next official meeting. So, uh, how do we want to make those endorsements official or to just be like, this is kind of the consensus of folks who put forward stuff and we'll leave it to you to make your own decision. 27th is, you know, a week and a half before the election on the 8th. Wait, I'm I'm sorry, I I missed a missed a second in there. What are we putting out to as a poll to pirates? In other words, what is their position on the four ballot questions? Ah, you know, okay. Yes, okay. no. I don't have an opinion, and any comments they want to give as to why they chose what they chose, and then we can look at it and be like. Well, our membership said that question one was supported, you know, by 65%, thus we shall endorse. Um, or we could just say, as soon as we have the results, you know, hey, these are the results. That's kind of the feels. Um, yeah, that, that sounds good to me. Kind of the feels. Well, I mean, we already discussed the first three ballot questions, correct? We had uh, a video meeting on that. We did so have a video fourth... meeting on that, yes. So what is the fourth one? Uh, the fourth one is, 
Uh, definitely something that by our uh, platform we would not we would support, which is basically um, the question is: Do you approve of a law summarized below, which is approved by the House of Representatives and the Senate on May 26, twenty twenty two, which is in essence uh, that allows people who are undocumented immigrants. Uh, it permits them to get a driver's license, whereas previous to this law by the legislature, they could not get a, a driver's license. And so you had folks who are undocumented driving around without having had a road test, without having their car inspected, um, and all that, all that that entails since we require people to get driver's licenses and licenses for cars and get insurance and all that. So, yeah, I mean, question four, I think was kind of, in, it sort of surprised me um, because I know there, you know, it got on the ballot as sort of a, um, an, a group's effort to have the law repealed. Um, and I was assuming that a yes vote meant repeal, but no, the yes vote is do you approve, or it, the, the question's worded, do you approve of? So yes is actually, yes, we want to keep the law. <laughs> that, that is correct. And as we know, you know, oftentimes when people don't know what the ballot measure means, they just reflectively vote no. So mm -hmm. the, the folks who put forth this ballot initiative are hoping that that will happen. I mean, of course, they're hoping people will be like, yeah, we should have uh, undocumented uh, immigrants drive around without having had a road test or insurance or whatever, you know, because they're undocumented, they're, they're undocumented, and thus we should put even more fines on them. <laughs> but, well, my, so, my whole yeah, thought I mean, I, is yeah. half Sorry, go on. You know, uh, my whole thought is path to citizenship. So, you know, we want to encourage them to sign into the system and be a part of the team and, and be integrated members of our society. We want to integrate them, you know, a, not just a bland, open, a bland, open, like sanctuary city where, yeah, we're not going to deport you unless you do something terrible. No, we want to integrate them into our society, right? We want them to be productive. We want them to live proper lives. If we don't give them a pathway to do so, especially when they're fleeing country and they are at that point of desperation, uh, we're just creating more problems for ourselves. Because guess what? They're they're going to be here. We're a nation built on immigration. So, so I'm going to, you know, when I have to explain this, I'm going to take that thing verbatim because that was just perfect. Thank you, Joe. Um, I'm a pirate. If you did not copy pasta, I would be upset. <laughs> um, okay, so so the proposal is to uh, notify members in, in the next email, uh, which we will aim to get out um, by this the end of this weekend at the latest, um, to fill out a survey and give us or a poll and give us their thoughts. Is that that's the proposal? Yay, I mean, nay. Yeah. Yeah. I second the proposal. Aye. 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 All right. Motion. Any opposed? No. Motion passes. Um, okay, then um, that shall be made done. Uh, Uh, when do we want? Actually, we didn't answer. We didn't ask the question. When do we want them to submit their responses by? I do quote Total Recall, and I say two weeks. I'm fine with two weeks. Okay, so if it goes out Saturday, that would be well. If it goes out Sunday. Um, that would be the 16th, two weeks from that would be the 28th, no, 2030th, which is about a week before the election. Mm -hmm. 
Why don't we say, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I was I was thinking more. I don't know. I was thinking more like a week or a bit more, but. So two weeks, that is the motion? Uh, yes. I mean, whatever you think is appropriate. I think two weeks. Uh, it's, nice it's, it's, not, it's, it's, this is, this is a, a demos democracy, man. So, you know. No, I, I say, uh, I, I, I agree with Joe's proposal for two weeks. And two weeks is, it's the kind of thing where you can send it out. And then a week and a half later, you send a reminder. <laughs> so. Sure. Uh, so, uh, you second it then all in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. No, no opposition motion passes. All right. So, uh, two weeks from when it is sent out. So we should endeavor to get it sent out sooner rather than later. Um, okay. Just a reminder, um, our elections, we are having our own elections uh, for our pirate council, including such high, uh, <clears throat> such high and important offices as the uh, treasurer, first officer, uh, swarm care, um, auditor, and of course, the captain. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, please have your nominations in by election day, November 8th. And uh, we will put a link in the description and it'll be up on our website at masspirates.org. So um, let's see here. Uh, so we've got a grab bag of outreach, fostering locals, and planning for the 2020 elections. So um, we're, Steve and I were discussing this before, um, getting the respective voter lists of our cities, respective cities and towns, pulling the pirates out and contacting them. I know for Somerville, where I reside, that is on my to-do list, as well as Cambridge, um, and helping Steve with Arlington. Uh, Joe, you've got Lowell. Yeah. Okay. If you need any help with um, getting that list, i um, happy to, to help with that. So I was hoping we could connect when you, both you and Steve were looking to come check out that meeting spot that we could have and use uh, Sunday. Yes, I will bring fine. I, I will I will bring an access point um and my laptop so that um I can show you how to use the database uh as well. Okay, I'll bring my laptop as well and then I could save little hot points and make it easier Excellent. for us. Uh so we'll do that um on this Sunday, 3 30 up in Lowell. Um Sounds good. I sent you guys the address, correct? Yes. Yes, you did. And I've sent it to our activists mailing list as well. Um, so, and I'll send a reminder for that. Um, and it'll... I do have chairs and tables and whatnot, so... Sorry, say that again? I do have chairs and tables and whatnot. Oh, perfect. Um, and Even then Steve's got... Sorry, say that once more. I apologize for interrupting, but I even have couches if we need them. Perfect. Um, and then uh, I'm going to bring camera equipment. Steve's going to bring audio equipment. And uh, we'll record Pirate News there. So that'll be cool. All right. Um, Planning for the 2023 local elections, um, we have an ether pad up on that. 
Um, we've long talked about a how to run video series that we've not done, um, that I would like to have done for our local elections. So, um, but we do have various um, videos on running for office that we posted, um, but making them little bite-sized, you know, five minute uh, things rather than some hour long, uh, <clears throat> rather than be hour long would probably be easier for people to deal with. Um, what else, Steve, you've run, what, what else should we do for, lo for local elections? There's, I mean, the easiest or the hard, the most important thing is just getting people to run. Um, that's, that's, that is the big hurdle, I, I, I think, um, you know, and it, some and it requires sometimes you could some sometimes it just boils down to recruitment <laughs> you know you've got to re, you got to find somebody who you think will do a good job and talk to them and talk to them and convince them to run um you know i'm sort of familiar with doing this locally because we have a well, we our town legislature is 252 people and sometimes um you know, you, you, you want to have good candidates and it's always, the challenge is always to get the good candidates to run. <laughs> um, we do have a list of people who have said they wanted to run at some point in the past. Um, so we can certainly reach out to them. And one key part is to identify which ones are in uh, towns like yours that have elected town meeting, mm -hmm. uh, because we can then, that's, that, you know, you need 10 signatures to get on the ballot. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really not hard. Um, and that would be a good thing. So identifying... Um, If I can get elected with 54 votes, then you can too. <laughs> it's just door knocking, not even that many doors. Uh, all right, so uh, identifying uh, town meeting towns, um, calling people. One of the things that I've been able to identify is how to break down different routes for door knocking using the U.S. Postal Service. I think we should put that in the video first. series. How, 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 you want to give us a quick how, quick how to? Uh, I can try. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull it up. All right, so Steve, town elections start in January, correct? There's, it varies by municipality, uh, but basically it's going to start sometime after the new year. Uh, ours are, happen to be in April. Some communities do it in March, some do it in May. Right. Um, so certainly, Looking, looking for dates in all the cities and towns, uh, and then for Arlington, if if the elections in April, how much? When do you have to have your nomination papers in du Dubai? Do you remember? Is it like two months, a month? Oh no, I mean it's it's a couple of weeks. Okay. We can go and you know find the dates for the cities and towns, at least the election dates based on what they've been in the past, mm -hmm. and then contact, uh, you know, identifying a key bunch of cities and towns, especially where you know where there are people, things like that, 
uh, where we have people and then getting the full dates. Um, so I just linked to you gentlemen, the every door direct mail by the US Postal Service. And what this allows you to do is two things in full. One, it gives you the ability to mail to any given zip code a direct mailer, as well as give you basic uh, routes that you can go and then hit the foot, you know, have a good good pair of sneakers and go door to door knocking. Uh, you're not allowed to stick stuff in the mailbox, but that's why we have door hangers. Um, and then just knock and find out what your what your zip code wants for their representative. If you like, I can, if you give me screen access, I can give you a more direct example. Yeah, that would be great. Let me, let me give you. You are now presenter. Entire screen. All right. Hopefully, it's coming through right about now. Cool. Yes. Oh, yep. All right. So let's say we want to zero in. Oh, look it. There's Boston. So we're going to go ahead and zero in on Boston. Uh, oh, whoops! My little town comes up right there. I actually said boop. All right, so say I want to do this whole spot in here. Generally, it would allow you to click on it. So I'm just going to go zip code. Here's a nice little zip code. And you can literally see how it broke it down by zip code. So I can go in here and select that route, that route, and that route. And each one of these routes is a good solid footpath of towns, lines, and streets. And, and say it will help you calculate how much it would be to send out one mailing, total of how many pounds that is, uh, 700 homes. So if I were just to hit this whole area, that gives me an approximation of how many households that you can knock on right there and make an impression on. All right, that's uh, that looks like it's a good tool to know about. Yeah. Already there, and then hey, let's send them a mailing before we go door to door. It'll cost us this much money for this many mailings to go out. To let them know about our message. And then we can follow up with a walk. That's nice. So. Thank you, Joe. And we'll include the link um, in the in our notes. Um, yeah, it's just cool. to remember one thing to think about when going door to door is if you do have the voter list and you can get that from your cities and towns. Um, you want to sort it so that all of the odd numbers are together and all the even numbers together on a particular street because you generally don't want to be like, I'm going to go to one Elm Street and then cross the street to go to two Elm Street and then cross back to go to three Elm Street. You know, it's more efficient just to go one, three, five Elm Street, come to the end and then loop back again. Um, Cool. Thanks, Joe. Already, that, that, that's a video right there. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, bite-sized, bite-sized. Um, okay, so we've we've got a bunch of stuff, um, and I guess you know this stuff needs to be due by December. Why don't we say end of November, uh, which is I do, Go, Joe. I do have to say I really like this format better. I feel like at the meeting it's going a lot easier than the IRC. Maybe I'm just a terrible typer. <laughs> 
No, it's fine. It's 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 a, yeah. No, I mean I agree. It's it's easier. Um, the nice thing about IRC is it's really easy to cut and paste and stick the meeting notes in. But you know we we've, we've got a video, and I, I guess we could do voice to text or something. Um, okay. Um, so should we just move on? We're, we've got plans for the video newsletter. Um, our pirate news uh, will be recorded this Sunday, and then we'll post that. It won't be live uh, this time. Um, reminder, the Boston Yankees Book Fair is November 12th and 13th. Um, and as Joe, as Steve said, the part, part next party conference will be briefer, uh, but it will be noon, January 21st, 2023. Um, other topics you two want to discuss? Um, there is a couple more bills on my radar, but I, I would like to save that for this upcoming video news, if that's okay. Okay. Or maybe for next week. Um, specifically, the, the new, the, what I'm looking at is the new executive order on the financials, which is kind of a terrifying, interesting read. As they always are. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Sounds good. Cool. Would you send links out about that so other people can read up on it before? Uh, of course. Thank you, Joe. All right. Um, motion to adjourn then? Second. All in favor? And aye. 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 All right, thank you very much. And for folks watching, thank you for our first video meeting. Um, we're trying this out and we'll be posting the link uh, in our uh, activist list as well as uh, by email, our email list. So if you're interested in participating as a member, please feel free to join us. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you two have a pleasant evening. Enjoy the rain. Have a good night. Good night. And good night.